Today, students are planning to walk out of school in a massive call to end gun violence. According to an Associated Press USA Today database, since the Columbine massacre to Nashville's school shooting, 175 people have died in 15 mass shootings. Shootings at Robb Elementary in Texas, Sandy Hook in Connecticut, and Virginia Tech mourn the deaths of more than two dozen people each. So today, Students Demand Action is leading a national walkout at schools all across the country. And one of those happening right here in our backyard today. Southview High School students will join Students Demand Action. So let's get out to our Christy Gerland, who is live at Southview for us this morning. So Christy, this walkout not happening this morning. When will it happen? Nope, it will happen at noon during lunch hour. The students will put down their books, their pens, their pencils. Over 200 of them expect to walk out to the courtyard and have a moment of silence for the victims of Nashville and also talk about gun violence. Now, earlier you heard me talk to Nina Greenberg. She is the leader here that has been putting on this protest today. You heard her talk about both of her parents who are teachers. Well, I'm, I'm here with one of them, her dad. Mr. Greenberg, is that what the students call you? It is, yes, yeah. Well, first of all, you must be extremely proud of Nina, right? Absolutely, you know, just I appreciate her activism, her advocacy. It's been a cause of uh, the gun violence and protesting against gun violence is something that she has been doing for a number of years. It, it means a lot to her, and I appreciate the voice that she brings to the conversation. Well, we, you're an English teacher here. Yes. Your wife teaches down the street. I want to ask you, have I, I know that you've talked to your kids about school shootings, but what has that conversation been like between you and your wife? as both teachers. It's, it's difficult, especially when you look at the shooting at Nashville, when it hits really close to home for her as a kindergarten teacher and thinking about things happening in elementary school and just seeing those images of, of, of those young students. And, uh, you know, so we, we talk about it. We fear for our kids. We fear for the for all of the kids that we that we work with here in Sylvania schools and for all the kids in, throughout the, the community and the country. So we know with emergency services, you know, the law enforcement, they really put their lives at risk for their jobs. Do you feel as a teacher coming to school in 2023 that you also put your life at risk? At various times I do. I think about, you know, particularly back to when the Parkland shooting happened and just how it, how, how anxious and jittery uh, we were as educators in the building. Just when you hear, we, I remember hearing a book drop and just the, the default being, is there, is there, is that, was that a gunshot? Uh, so there are, there are times, especially after a shooting happens and it, uh, that it receives national attention, where it, we, it, it is on our minds more and it is something that we're, we're concerned about and considering how often uh, the, the tragedies happen across our country, yes, it is something that's on our minds. Okay. Well, thank you so much. Sure. I know you got class. I'm sure the students are waiting for you. So again, there will be that walkout at noon uh, today here at Southview High School in Sylvania, and we will have that update later for you tonight on how it went. Reporting live, Christy Gerlet, WTOL 11 on Fox 36.